Do you remember standing up after you make that tackle? Breaking news tonight on Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin, whose collapse during Monday Night Football was witnessed by millions. However, I won't delve into the details of that unsettling incident. Now, shifting our focus to January 2, 2023, two of the NFL's best teams, the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals, are set to square off. This matchup holds more than just prime time coverage. It will significantly impact the entire playoff landscape, shaping the journey to Super Bowl 57. The stakes are high, the coveted number one seed in the AFC, securing the only team to receive a first round bye and hold home field advantage throughout the entire postseason. It won't be an easy feat, considering both teams haven't suffered a loss in nearly two months making this clash in Week 17 on Monday night even more crucial. The game kicks off with the shootout everyone hoped for. The Bengals strike first, marching down the field in less than three minutes for a Tyler Boyd touchdown. Buffalo swiftly responds with a 25-yard field goal from Tyler Bass. The energy in the stadium is palpable, so intense that you can't even hear yourself think. Then, the unthinkable happens the scariest moment in NFL history. With just over six minutes left in the first quarter, the Bengals have the ball. On the second play of the drive, Joe Burrow passes to T. Higgins, who lowers his shoulder in an attempt to gain extra yards. DeMar Hamlin makes the tackle, and at first glance, everything appears normal. Hamlin returns to his feet, adjusts his helmet, and then collapses on the spot. Panic ensues. Another Bills player is down. Whistles are blown, and game play is immediately halted. Within 10 seconds of this moment, athletic trainers and medical professionals swarm the field. Emergency CPR is conducted for 10 minutes as an ambulance arrives. DeMar is down on the field for nearly 20 minutes, surrounded by both teams in shock, while his family rushes down to the field. DeMar receives oxygen from the first responders and is loaded into the ambulance alongside his mother, transported directly to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, four miles away. The ambulance departs the stadium at exactly 9.25 p.m., 30 minutes after his initial collapse on the field. The stadium, which was uncontrollably loud just moments ago, is now eerily silent. The TV broadcast reveals a chaotic scene, and then Jobik's voice breaks through. They've been given five minutes to, quote-unquote, get ready to go back to playing. That's the word we get from the league and the word we get from down on the field. But nobody is moving. Teammates remain seated hugging each other and shedding tears for their teammate, whose status remains up in the air. During this time, both head coaches discuss with officials, leading to the decision by Buffalo head coach Sean McDermott to pull his team off the field and back to the locker room. Another 30 minutes pass, and the game is officially postponed. Over an hour after DeMar collapsed, his status is still unknown as the world waits for what feels like an eternity for an update. Stefan Dix, along with other teammates and Bengals head coach Zach Taylor, go to visit DeMar at the medical center. On Dix's way in, he stops by an officer, nearly having to force his way in, stating, We just had to be here for our teammate. Just outside, an additional 100 fans stand hand in hand in support. Finally, there is an announcement on DeMar's status. He had a heart attack on the field. DeMar was able to regain his heartbeat but still remains in critical condition. In the night following the incident, something magical happens. DeMar's charity and toy drive, the Chasing Dreams Foundation, receives an unthinkable amount of donations. Before the Monday night game, his foundation had $74,000 in donations. The very next morning, with the help of over 119,000 new donors, that number had reached over $3 million. The outpouring of support continues as the community rallies around DeMar and his family during this challenging time. 